winching. I uh, just got the uh, turbo control unit set up in the Range Rover, which allows me to winch um, by sending 24 volts into the 12 volt winch motor. Um, excellent kit, um, lowers the amp draw, very efficient, um, good, faster pull, more, a little bit more power, just, just a really good setup to have. Um, it's taken me a couple days of uh, testing to uh, get the switches right and everything. And uh, it's all ready to go now. I'm running, so I'm running three batteries, two batteries to the winch, and then a separate battery running the rig. Um, so you know you don't you can run those two other batteries dead and not affect the runnability of the rig. Um, so we here we are, and of course I've got my no metal system there. As you see, I don't run a metal hook. There's nothing, just my handmade tree saver giant um, soft shackle to, that's the soft shackle that I normally keep on the rope to attach to the bumper. And then you have the winch rope running to the rig. Um, wireless remote are fantastic. We can tighten up our setup here while we're standing here, make sure the tree's gonna hold. Everything is good and tight, and uh, now we're going to go rip that up this hill. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, pretty good pull. Uh, snow isn't incredibly deep, but it's deep enough to uh, start half to winch. You know, we got three months of this, four months of this. Um, so, you know, you got to have a good winching system. It's from here on out, the snow is just going to get deeper. Um, conditions are just going to get worse and worse. So if you, you want to make it anywhere, right, you want to um, get off the beaten path, go on the uh, trails that aren't just all traveled by all the casuals um, you got to have good systems and this this is a pretty good winching system um, so you heard a little bit of belt squeal from that alternator that's 250 amp alternator charging three batteries um, probably got the belt a little loose and I do suspect as I'm, I was watching the, the voltage draw in there on the, on the meter and uh, on, the, on the digital gauge and uh, I'm still getting some some drop not a lot but I think a little bit more than there should be and uh, I've suspected for a few months now that I've got one or both of those batteries um, running at winch are compromised um, probably one is uh, is down low and it's, it's just dragging that other one down um, they're not brand new. They're probably a little bit more than a year old um, They've seen some heavy winching on them in that last year um, They've been abused no doubt um, The third battery I just installed a week ago is brand new fresh um, So I think I'm gonna have to swap out those other two for that winch because I, I just don't think that they're uh, um, where they need to be so I'll get that taken care of and we're gonna start winching like crazy this winter uh, both rigs that turbocharged winching unit on it, so uh, Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, exciting snow wheeling um, getting into some places and uh, doing some, uh, some serious winching <laughs> 